the difference between skill and competence skill is an ability competence is ability along with the attitude and the desire to perform I've asked this one question to many decision makers all over the world. If there was one thing you'd like to see change that would make your organization more productive, what would it be? And everybody came back with one word and they said attitude. If our people had a better attitude, we'd have a better teamwork, quality would go up, bottom line would go up. The most important word in the English language is the word attitude today. There was a study conducted which said 85% of the time a person gets a job or a promotion is because of their attitude. 15% how smart they are, how many facts and figures they know. And almost 100% of education dollars go to teach facts and figures, which accounts for only 15% of success. And what we are talking is the 85%. Which is what brings us to the point, it is not our position, but our disposition that determines success. Now, what is disposition? Disposition is nothing else but our attitude. What is the difference between skill and competence? Skill is an ability. Competence is ability along with the attitude and the desire to perform. There are many skillful people who are totally incompetent because they don't have the skill, and they, they don't have the desire and the willingness to perform, which is what says, ability is important. Ability will take you up there, but dependability is crucial. Why? Because if you have a person with all the ability, but if they're not dependable, do you want them? Obviously not. Which says, ability without dependability is a liability. And that is crucial. Says one more. It says, our life is full of choices and life is full of compromises. What a contradiction. Well, is it really? Not really, it is not. If I ill treat you, I've chosen to be ill treated, haven't I? If I treat a person with discourtesy, I have chosen to be treated with discourtesy, haven't I? If I drink too much tonight, I've chosen a headache tomorrow morning, haven't I? This is life full of choices. Now, as they say, we are all free to the point of choice. But after we make our choices, the choice controls the chooser. We have no more choice. Now, does that mean that everything is in our control in life? Obviously not. There are some things beyond. I didn't decide where I was going to be born. I didn't decide the color of my skin. If this is my height, that's the way that I can't be six foot ten. There are some things beyond control. Sometimes kids are born deformed. What wrong did they do? Who knows? Sometimes bad things happen to good people for no fault of their own. What wrong did they do? Who knows? As they say in life, we cannot choose the cards that are dealt to us, but what we can choose is how we play the game. We cannot choose the direction of the wind, but what we can choose is how we set the sail. This is what says, life is a question not of our position, but our disposition, which is our attitude. Granted, sometimes nature gives us a lemon. Now the choice is yours. Do we cry? Or do we make lemonade? That's the choice.